Firstly, thank you for joining and real, real appreciation to everyone who's subscribed recently. The channel's slowly growing. So if you can all please keep sharing and commenting and liking and subscribing, that really, really means the world to me. And it's motivating me to keep going forward with the videos. So in today's video, I'm gonna just take you through a little step-by-step -step guide of how to enable the telemetry from the Hobbywing ESC, get it talking to the spirit unit, and then the spirit unit talks to the spectrum receiver. So that when you're flying, you've got telemetry for motor load, I believe it's how many amps the ESC's pulling, uh, rotor head RPM. A little bit tricky to understand. It's took me quite a while to, to figure it out because at first I was getting like 3000 RPM head speed and stuff. So yeah, but I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step guide of just how to sort it out. So with this one, we're going to start off with configuring the uh, Hobbywing ESC and just let it know how many poles the motor's got and the gear ratio. I'm not sure if it actually updates the data with inside the ESC as far as the gear ratio and all that, but I'm just that's what that's what I've done going forward and it seems to it seems to work out. The one you've got to leave alone is the transmitter setting. So this the um the gear ratio inside here should be just one to one and let this do all the talking and this just listens. So we open up the Hobbywing software. Helicopters all powered up and prepared, connected to the transmitter. Just wait for it to come in. Right, and there we go. So you've got the panel on the left-hand side, and there is all your different settings. If you just nip into general, we're in uh, store governor mode. We have to do the RPM standardization. The throttle control, I don't really mess with anything inside there. Down to speed governing, now you'll see at the top, it's default on eight. The motor I'm using is the Align, so it's a 10 pole motor. And we're gonna set the, uh, the pinion at 12 teeth, and then the main drive gear at 112, which is what my heli is. Now I believe this slider, so once you put those settings in, you can move the slider up and down and it will give you a throttle input to RPM output. I think it's just basically like some kind of calculator so you can set your transmitter throttle and uh, yeah, see what the output will be. So I'm going to click apply on these settings and that should be it now. I'm going to close down the software and uh, move on to the next one where we're going to set up the fly this unit. So, into the Spirit software. And we just check we're connected in the center. And then uh, move along, we're after the advanced tab. So we're gonna click on advanced and go to telemetry settings. At the very top, it will say disabled, then you wanna enable it to Hobbywing Platinum V4, if you're using a Hobbywing. This is the important part now. So if you hover the mouse over here, it shows that we want to leave it on five, I think it's a value of five for a 10 pole motor, which is what I've done. And then your gear ratio, just at the bottom. I'm gonna have it at 9.33, which is my gear, gear ratio. But unfortunately, it doesn't let you set 9.33, so 9.30. So we'll do that. So that's happy days, 9.3. Then we'll go to the backup tab and save. And that should save the settings within the spirit unit. And happy days. Last but not least, into the transmitter. Just configure it now for the telemetry. So we're gonna scroll down and go into the telemetry tab. When we're in there, number one, I'm gonna select as ESC. I'm just going to re-click it so you show you. Now on here, poles inhibit, and then the ratio is one to one. That's very important that you put one to one, as it will mess with uh, mess with your your readout. So that's one to one, and just do the same again. It, it should pick up the RPM. That yeah, it does. So one to one. So that's that sorted.
So what we've got here is the ESC has a, an output port. And what I've done, I've run the fan power from the two, um, the plus and the minus, and then the P for programming is also telemetry out. So I've then run that down into SAT1 on the Spirit GT unit. Then the Spirit GT just talks to the receiver via SRXL2, which is just, just three wires, nice and simple. So it's a bit of a wasted receiver, but I wanted that capability of all the telemetry and etc. So uh, that's pretty much the setup. I will sh you've probably already seen the video clip I've just added with the uh, instructions from uh, Spirit. So yeah, let's get over to the field and spool her up and see what we've got. So now that's our configuration set up. We've had the laptop plugged in, we've gone through, we've, um, we've enabled telemetry within the Spirit software. We've told the speed controller how many poles the motor has. We've gone into the transmitter, into telemetry settings, and we've gone to ESC and we've configured it for RPM as one to one ratio. We're now gonna uh, just do a little test and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the heli on the floor at zero pitch. I'm gonna just bring it into say 50% throttle, zero pitch. We'll let it sit there on the floor and I'll get my RPM, get my uh, optical, what would you call it, tachometer. And we'll see what the RPM reading is with the tack on two blades in relation to the transmitter and see how accurate it really is. Okay, so I'm just going to straighten out these blades, give it the best chance. I've got the camera quite close for comfort, but I'm pretty confident we'll be fine. It probably looks a lot closer than what it is. So I'm going to leave a little bit of negative pitch on. I'm going to go into a spool up and I'm going to relay what the transmitter's saying. And then we'll use my little trusty tachometer which is currently set on two blades. I hope you can see that on the, uh, with the sun. But yeah, no RPM, two blades, and we'll see what we, uh, what we hit. So, I'm gonna spool the heli up. I'm just gonna get it all settled into an idle. So that's the heli settled. Settled into the RPM there. So going into my telemetry, 1360. 1360 on the uh, on the transmitter. So I'm gonna pick this up, I'm gonna hold it like that. And we get in there 1350. Transmit is 1355, 1360. I'm really happy with that. That's accurate to me. 1350. Come back out. It's going to go back in again. Yeah, 1350. I don't know whether you can see it. I hope you can, but yeah, that's awesome. So I'm going to just take it for a little hover. Nice low head speed, 1350. Very docile. Just floating around on transitional lift. So that's that. I'm pretty happy with that. We've got a nice, good, stable head speed. That's the next one, 16.50. So, over the moon with that. It's nice to have some telemetry data. Well, I'm going to conclude the video there. I hope you found it useful. I oh, certainly have. It's nice to see what, um, what head speeds you've got and just to ensure the governor's working. So yeah, the next video is going to be fitting the Spirit Geo Link to this uh, 760, 
going to fit a movable mount roughly on the back there on the tube and then uh, try and get some GPS logging for uh, speed and all that other good stuff. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and thanks again for joining. Cheers, all the best. I'll see you in the next one.